In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I got my Prusa i3 Mark III S to work with a glass bed. So, to begin with, I found this form where they were asking, and after looking at the different scripts and comparing the scripts between from of Peter's script here and what he used and then going down and looking at Daniel's script for what he used, I came to the conclusion that to get a Prusa printer to print on glass, all that is really necessary is to take this piece of code here and insert it, go to up here, go to printer settings, and then there's general and then custom G code and in the G code is very nicely labeled after each line of code what to do and so I found if I just scroll down and find here where it says go outside print area if that is when it has finished the leveling and the figuring out there and so then after that just take this code and insert it there and then it goes so mesh bed leveling and then go outside the print area so it moves out of the print area and then this first line of code here rise raises up the print head then it waits 30 seconds and then you have to put in and i guess i should clarify this right here this 2.85 is i took my calipers and i measured the thickness of the piece of glass i'm adding and so you change that number to whatever you want or whatever your calipers say your glass thickness is. And so then it raises, adds that much to the height of where the bed is. So it moves it, it up. So then when it comes back down, which is what you do right here, you bring the nozzle back down to zero, but you've added the 2.85. Now, depending on your thickness of glass, it could be two, could be four, could be whatever. And then just leave all the rest of the code however it was default in the start G code and then you just hit save and then you can just name it um, mark 3s glass bed save and there you have it it should now do its leveling, then go to the corner, raise the nozzle up, give you 30 seconds or thereabouts to slide your piece of glass in and clip it in place. And then it will come down and resume at the new height, which you should set to whatever the thickness of your glass is, which for me is the 2.85. And I hope this helps.